with Swim Team Meteorologist Michael Haynes for a look at that forecast. Michael, I don't know, I might have to improve my relationship with the weather because it's not pretty outside this morning. No, it's not a gin, a dreary morning, but on the other hand, some good sleeping weather, but hopefully you're up with us early uh, this Saturday morning. Uh, checking in live from Talladega Super Speedway, uh, plenty of raindrops there on the camera from East Alabama. We're not dealing with anything severe. Uh, the air mass is very stable, but it is a bit of an inconvenience if you're out traveling early this morning, especially along in east of I-65 from uh, Pell City along Interstate 20, uh, Aniston, Oxford up Highway 21 to Weaver, Jacksonville, Piedmont, and then Highway 431 uh, from near Alexandria into the southern part of Etowah County getting wet now. That also includes the western part of Calhoun County, Ohatchee, and extending farther to the south toward the city of Talladega and down to Highway 280 all the way from uh, Childersburg to Alexander City. But slowly but surely, uh, this will push on through here. The temperature is now running cool but way above freezing, so we're not dealing with any type of winter precipitation, uh, to say the least. Uh, Alexander City, uh, excuse me, Alabaster, uh, now at 48 degrees. Tuscaloosa, 50. Now Alexander City over East Alabama, running in the middle 40s. Anniston, Oxford, now right now at uh, 44 degrees. So this front will continue to push on through the central part of the state. It's located very close to uh, Atlanta and will push on through the eastern part of Georgia. So as we look live from the BJCC over downtown Birmingham, uh, by lunchtime today, the temperature is not budging much with temperatures in the upper 40s to near uh, 50 degrees and by this afternoon only between around 50 to 53 degrees and that's mainly from uh, the central part of the state uh, places like uh, Birmingham likely if you do get out of the 40s it's not going to last very long the average high for this time of the year this point of gen in January in central Alabama in the middle 50s at 54 so this front will push on through but we're tracking yet another storm system uh, that will bring significant changes as we head into next week by Monday night into Tuesday morning some strong gusty wind. Now this is not necessarily within the thunderstorms themselves. This is what we call pressure gradient winds. So expect those and also some th strong to severe thunderstorms possible over South Alabama and along with heavy rainfall about two to three inches, some locally higher amounts possible. So we'll have to watch the potential uh, for some flash flooding. So this is our future cast. We'll take you now into a Monday morning into Monday afternoon. We start out the day dry and then this rain increasing in coverage and intensity uh, throughout the day, mainly Monday night into Tuesday once again, and then this front will push on through here. Uh, so you need to secure any loose items you have outdoors. Even though this is not a significant severe weather threat for us, we're still dealing with the likelihood uh, for some uh, gusty to damaging a straight line wind. So just keep that in mind. So that's the reason we are weather aware Monday night into Tuesday and then still remaining cool for the middle part of next week and breezy during the day Wednesday with highs holding in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. Jen better take advantage of the weekend. The time right now, five